made with unity. Ooh. Boogle McBoogle. <laughs> One of the events that happened to stay group death and her conversion. Yep. An interactive version of the events is made from available audio visual materials left at the scene. With the help of these materials, we were able to reproduce with incredible accuracy all the details of what happened. Your task is to analyze the events shown here and to bring these interactive sessions. Report your findings to the administrator. Change camera view. Explosives? Compass D. Oh, it's an upside down pyramid? Why is there an upside down pyramid beneath a science cabin? A lot of questions. WSD key to control it. Keep a close eye on your rover's battery life. Ten percent of your battery power. Meet the crew. Max, age twenty-seven, assistant operator. Mackie, forty-two, operator. Specialty is over. Redacted, redacted, redacted. So where is everybody? Oh, first descent. Chan, I'm scared. Hold me. Oh, oh, what is this? My scanning. It is still unclear what rock the pyramid is made of and on what principle it is built. Not to mention, who needed to build such a structure? At present, we see neither practical use of a pyramid nor logical substan substantiation construction of its tunnels. <coughs> Tested. Further investigation is required. Do we want to go down? Let's go down here, chat. See what we can find. There's two more zones to be found. Chat, I'm scared. I'm going to rotate this damn rover and there's going to be something right here in front of my face ready to eat me. Oh, hell nah. That body has oh, a mushroom and a rat. <laughs> the body of a small rodent, apparently a rat. These, there are mushrooms sticking out of its head. The mushrooms seem to have spread directly from the brain through the rat's skull. How did it get here? Maybe there's another passage somewhere. <laughs> Oh boy, let's hope not. Here I go again on my own. That mushrooms? How did they get here? Good question. Is that a pencil? Oh, I don't know what that is. We're at seventy two percent battery. <clears throat> Already came from there. Like another way through here. Get in.
I don't like this chat, I'm scared. Why is the camera feed getting funky? down there. <clears throat> Tunnel is about three meters deep. It is necessary to install a special mechanism for lowering and lifting the rover. We'll also need to order higher capacity batteries for the rover and in the meantime we will have to be even more careful about the battery consumption. The purpose of this tunnel remains unknown. <coughs> Jack, give me one minute. Alright boys, let's continue our investigation of the upside down pyramid. I don't know how to get back to the loading dock. How do I get there? Let me fix my mic. <laughs> Feel like we're not gonna make it. I don't even know how to get back there. Is it up here? I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. Be real with y'all. I don't know how to get out of here. I don't know which way I'm going. Is that it? it is. A1 conclusions. We launched the rover for the first time today. Maggie handled it very confidently. I watched closely with the hope that I would soon be able to drive it too. Maggie. Oh, this takes place in 1992. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm not too worried about the rat we found today given the circumstances it's not surprising that small rodents were able to get inside the pyramid. What I'm really worried about is what it, what it died of. I need to look into this more closely. <coughs> Subject A behaves with a special useful, youthful enthusiasm and B tries to be more judicious and show leadership. Quality. So far, no normies in the team's behavior have been detected. So he's keeping, th this mysterious dude's keeping an eye on these two for some reason. I wonder why. The journalist? Ooh. A journalist rec rescues his missing friend from the depths of the forest. What a story. They're gonna, they're gonna regret kicking me out. <clears throat> Oh, we're actually controlling someone now. 
Now I find seven clues. That radio. I wonder who wanted to throw a party in the middle of nowhere like this, huh? But it's our missing buddy. He didn't run off the line. <laughs> or is there someone else here? Can I have that soda? That soda is that beer. I can't. Is someone standing there? Being um, Gordo, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's. Oh, I thought that was a dead body. Why we came from here? Looks like it's Jim's personal journal. I want to record here every day the details of his survival in the woods. Looks like he went to the woods to prove to his girlfriend that he's a tough guy. Thanks for coming to the stream, brother. Martha, you, it, Marcy, you said I'm not a man. The, that other guy, the if, the other guys are much more masculine than me, brave, braver than me. But there, you're wrong, Jim Rock. The underlying, underlining is completely illegible. He's writing something about the cabin next to him. Shack in the middle of nowhere? What is this place? Do the people in the cabin have done this to him? And why? Oh my god, my boy got mutilated. This bench is horrible. It's like the body already started to decompose. What the hell is this? If you look closely, you can see mushrooms growing right out of the remains of the body. How could it grow so fast? And what kind of flesh and fungus is this? Hell, there's only half of the body here. It looks like whoever did this scattered the remains all over the woods. Whoever did this may still be around. I gotta get some more material and get out of here before I become a new story myself. Getting darker. I feel like we're about to be hunted down. So he said there's a shack out here somewhere. What is this? That's a skull. They ended this figure beyond recognition. I knew Jimmy as a kid. He could never do something like that. <laughs> Hell, the guy didn't even cook a steak just beside raw meat man sick. Jesus, who would do such a thing? I should get the hell out of here. On the other hand, an exclusive like this could win report of the year or even a Pulitzer Prize. A journalist investigates the murder of his friend. Here's my chain. Buddy, you might want to go report this to the police. I'm just saying, there's a dead body, um, decapitated head on a Log. I want to report that to the police. Alright, four out of seven clues. This why this hard put to that. That mushroom? I've never seen mushrooms that big, huh? That is weird. So the pyramid has something to do with the mushrooms for some reason. There's the cabin. Oh, this is where they're doing the experiments with the rover. No one there? Yeah. Dead. Not Jim. You can see a lot of wounds on his head. Looks like his face was smashed into the table. I don't even want to imagine if you've done it. This is going too far. I need to get out of here. Very good idea. I need two more clues. Hmm. Seen nothing weird out there. Oh wait, there's a journal right there. That's right, someone's personal journal. <clears throat> Most of the pages have traces of ink and some illegible nonsense. Huh. Still, I can read a few pages. 
It's been six months since we've been out here and there's been no progress on our research. Moreover, we simply do not have the equipment necessary for this level of research. I told our Mr. X about it, but nothing has changed in six months. We were told just keep working. How are we supposed to work under these conditions? Also, Max, he came up to me today and asked me to call him Maxine. What the hell is that? I don't know what to think about that. I think I'm slowly losing my mind. Yep, they're all going crazy. I think I should do this after I've gotten all the material together. Well, that wasn't a clue, really. I've seen anything like this once before. There was a program on TV about the pyramids. Scientists in this program can't get into their openings of the pyramid by themselves, so they built a similar robot with a camera. Yeah, so they had a much simpler looking robot, but it could get the job done. I wonder what this machine has seen. Alright, that's one piece, one clue that we got. Anything else in here, I guess? Anything over here? Is that an elevator in the middle of the room? Looks like an elevator, but where does it go? I don't think I want to know the answer to that question right now. Oh, second descent with the robot. Here we go. It's probably going to get a lot more creepier down there. Three zones to scan. There's a lot more mushrooms. Alright, lots of biomaterial of unclear origin. Looks like mushrooms bursting through a mass of flesh. I've never seen anything like this before. This is the same kind of carnivorous fungus that grew out of that rat's head. Um... I was, it'd probably be a safe bet to say, yeah, probably. Go this way. I figure this place is going to be a lot more bigger than the other level. That right, goes down. What the fuck is that? Oh, fuck, that scared me. Right, scanning. It is moving. Oh, it is moving. That's terrifying. Got mushrooms grow growing out of it. Oh, we die. Okay, so you can die on here. Good to know. <coughs> oh, we gotta rescan everything now. Alright, so we need... Ayo? Hell, can we mean hell? Are you playing scary games? Alright, we need to go scan that other mass on the wall over here. Then I guess we'll take that ramp going down right there. You be careful of pitfalls. Okay, it's moving. We know about that. Take the ramp down. Yeah, I'm scared something's going to jump at the camera. Oh my. Venom? That is, a, is that a spine? I don't want to get. Oh my god, we got to get right up on it. Oh my god. It's hard to describe in words what we've encountered. I'm trying to hold it get together, but my partner seems to be having a hard time. I need to reflect on what we've seen before we move forward. That is a human head. Turn the rover to the thing. How did a human body get down there? What is the black mass stuff growing out of the stuff? And the mushroom. Why is it getting darker? Nah, bro, it's getting darker. Why? Oh.
I guess I gotta sample that mass stuff in there. Oh, it's moving fast. I like that. Gonna grab the camera. I want to change this man. Everyone is tired. The research is progressing slowly. But I don't care. I feel different now. I think for the first time in my life, I feel who I really am. I'm scared and excited at the same time. We've done a lot of research on the materials we found. One thing is certain, the pyramid does not consist of rock. It appears to be made of some kind of biomaterial. Like a living organism, even though it's impossible. After what I've seen, I'm willing to believe anything. Something that clearly changed in object A, object B doesn't notice it yet. It's very much in his work. Object A has emotional outbursts, sudden mood swings, skin rashes, which he does not pay attention to. Oh, what if, what if he got infected with, like, the spores from the mushroom? That's probably what happened to him. Somehow he got infected. Interrogation of Subject S, number one. Is Subject S. What is your name? I already told you my name is Phil. Stop asking me the same question. That damn pizza gave me hiccups. When are you going to let me go? Feel sick. Thanks for at least turning off the lights. My eyes are in total are in a lot of pain from the light. So it hates the light. That's why it stays underground. Do you remember your mother's face? Mom, of course I remember her face. She was blonde. Or wait, I think she was brunette. Brown eyes. Chit. Chit. I can't remember. Why can't I remember my mother's face? Mom? Mommy? Interview's over for today. So it's able to talk. But what it, I guess it's getting, it retains some memories from whatever person it took over is what I'm guessing. No, please, ask me something else. Anything you ask, I'll answer it. What do you want to hear? Help me. But I don't think we can help you now. You've gone too far. Jimmy. So we're playing as the missing person now, I was. But it's my first night of survival in the woods. You thought I wouldn't go for it, didn't you, Marcy? Jimmy is such a wuss, such a coward. Were those your words, weren't they? But look at Jimmy now. Why is Jimmy speaking in, like, third person? I'm sure right now we're sitting watching these tapes like him. Picture your face red with embarrassment. Exactly, Marcy. Shame on you for being so wrong about me. Because Jimmy's not the sucker you think he is. I'm a real survivalist who can spend the night alone in the woods. What was that? Maybe it's those guys from the cabin. I better turn off the lights, but I'll leave the camera on just in case. You see, Marcy? The horrors I'm willing to endure for you. Oh, you see? Oh, my God. What was that? Or do we have like a... Chat? I don't think we're alone in the woods. The hell? Fire. Fire. I can't move. We're stuck. We cannot move. Kaylin, it's not okay. Something is coming to get me. Get the batteries dying. <laughs> I think someone's staring outside my tent. Hello? Maso Sephora? I have no idea what that word is. Uh, this one. No cicada infected with Maso Sephora. It's the mushroom stuff, isn't it? I'm saying it might take over the nervous system. The cicadas are affected by a fungus called Massasaphora cicadina, which alters their behavior and anatomy. 
the fungus grows inside their bodies and make them lose, lose their reproductive organ. The females still have behave normally, but the males change their mating signals. The stop singing and start flick, flicking their wings like females. This will attract other males who get infected by the fungus when they try to mate with them. The, spunk, the fungus spreads this way. Is that why that one dude in the journal said not to call him Max but Maxine because he's infected with the fungus and it's causing him to act like that? That's gotta be it. Unless he's just going inside. The journalist second type. Getting spooky out here. We're gonna be attacked by cicadas. Oh my god. Hey yo. Uh Let me lick the wall. What the hell is this place? We gotta be in Nightmare Land or something. Watch us get we probably got dragged down to the pyramid, I'm guessing. But like a rat in a maze. I can't run. This is a dead end. Oh no it's not. No one's been down here. These are papers scattered all over the floor. Apparently these are some kind of reports. A sort of personal diary in a corporate style. I like this. That person? Oh my god, oh, we crouch. We see the crouch, we're gonna see again to get up. Ew. So it's consuming people. That's evident. I want to know what's down here. Huh? Is it really? Hey, lady, are you okay? What's she doing? She seems to be. She's licking those walls. They didn't even notice me. That's probably a good thing we can't go over there. Let's not go over there by the crazy lady. No, we're going to go down deeper into the flesh pit, apparently. Or no. Somebody must have been trapped out here before us. One scattered papers. I think I can make out what's written on some of them. Bad enough. Ever since we got together with Maxine, uh, Zerver. Yeah, I know what he's up to. I know. He wants to take her away from me. But you won't have her. Oh no. You won't let. I won't let you. I know you read all of our records. I'm sure that's why you were sent here to keep an eye on us. As for Maxine. Don't you think I realize she's been paying less attention to me because of you? What are you saying to her? You turn her against me, aren't you? It's not gonna work. You'll, you'll get what's coming to you. What if that woman in the other room was Max because Max was starting to call himself Maxine because he got infected? Oh my god, he got turned. Oh no. this <laughs> oh my god what's in here see a body it's like the body of the guy from the cabin those tentacles gross hopefully we can find our way out of here hopefully I don't like this. Really don't like this. Alright, that's blocking the way, so we gotta go this way.
That's it. Maxine went wild and ran off into the woods. It's okay. I'll find her. Especially with that damn Mr. X out of the way. It felt so good hitting his stupid head with a hammer. Bang, 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 bang. Blood all over the place. Now no one's going to get in the way of me and Maxine. Wait. That he did in the woods. If Maxine went to get that, went to that asshole in the tent. Shit, I gotta remember to get the hair. He, he went to kill us. And we ended up down here for some reason. Where the vines go? Another note? Uh. Maxine has changed a lot. She become, she's become some kind of wild. Now, now she won't even talk to me. Sometimes I see her sitting in the corner muttering something, but when I approach her, she runs away. What he did to you, Maxine? It's, it's your fault. I don't know what you did to my Maxine, you bastard, but you'll pay for it. That asshole from the woods, a real idiot. How did he even get in here? He's no problem now, though. I should focus my attention on Mr. X. Oh, he dragged us down here, I guess? Keep punching. Oh, we, we're trapped in here. Has this changed the layout? No, no, no. It can't be. No way. Oh, fuck me. What? Oh, we got trapped. Interrogation of subject S number two. Okay, we'll go with the lights this time. Yeah. Bosses asked that he be clearly visible. Apparently his grunting wasn't enough for him. They want to see it. Well, here you go. Uh -huh. We? Okay, so it, it, it's multiple person or something, I guess. I am a journalist, was at least before. Oh, the journalist got turned into that. Now I'm a, uh, oh my god. I'm in an unbearable unbear ocean of pain. How did you get inside the pyramid? I remember when I was shooting a report in the woods. I was about to leave when I saw a man. He had a hammer in his hands. He started to approach me quickly and I realized I had to run. I, I ran and then I just fell into some kind of hole in the ground. It hurts. It really hurts me. Can you explain to us exactly what this pyramid is? The pyramid, it's everywhere. Spreads out underground for miles. It's thousands of years old. It contains the memories of all generations. And my memory, uh, we have no more questions. Wait, where are you going? You promised. Oh, we burn him. We burning his ass. Thank you. So he. He was still there somewhat. The thing has had it entirely taken over him completely. End of your interactive reenactment. Report your conclusion to the administrator. If you still have questions, go through the reconstruction again. Thank you.